Welcome down to Hockey and HockeyShare.com. In the third part of our off-ice stick handling series, we're going to show you some variations and ways you can train uh, getting a little bit different, a little bit more advanced and making the drill a little bit more dynamic than the first drills we showed you uh, where everything's kind of stationary and everything's, you know, standing still with just simple weight transfer. So the first thing we want to talk about is just changing up the way that we're actually doing the, the dribble drills. And we'll just demonstrate with all the dribble drills. Most of the techniques can be used with all the drills we've done. Uh, so what we want to do first is we started off with stationary. So now what we can do is we can add a dynamic of balance to it. Okay, we can balance on our on one foot, perform the same dribble drills here, off to our forehand, or also off to our backhand. Again, just maintaining balance so it adds a new dynamic to it. Um, next, we can add in a hop on the one foot. Okay, can add double, kind of combine them. Okay. So again, you're adding a balance, uh, a balance dynamic, you're adding a change of height dynamic to this drill, and you're making it quite a bit more difficult. Next, we can add a stride jump in. Stride jump is just from here to here. So when we're dribbling from here, here. So again, adding a lateral dynamic now to the drill. So now we've got height, lateral change, and also distance change. Next, we can do a crossover jump which is the same concept, it's just different, different step, again, different dynamic, keeping your body in balance as you go. Now, we're going to go from uh, the slight movement drills, we're going to add the dynamic of changing your level. Drop down to a knee, drop down to the other knee, continue up, can drop down to both knees, keep stick handling. Okay, so what we've added now dynamic wise is we've changed the way the blade's sitting where for stick handling here, my blade's flat. As I change my level, my blade's gonna change uh, the way it sits on the ice a little bit. So we have to maintain control as we change our level. Okay, so again, just adding a whole new trick to it here. Uh, you can also do it uh, walking forward, walking backwards, you can do it with stride jump forward, stride jump backwards, okay? Lots of ways to just switch up the same drills, keep them fresh, and keep them working on different things. Now we're going to show you a couple tools uh, that we use all the time at M2 Hockey when we're doing camps and clinics uh, to make you a better stick handler. First is the stick weight. This is by uh, TTP Sports. It's Iron Arm Stick Weight. Uh, I'll put a link on the Hockey Share blog, show you where to get them. But a great little tool, just add some weight to the bottom of your stick, really helps develop the forearms. So these just Velcro right on. And next is the attack triangle, and you've seen the attack triangle if you've watched some of our other videos on ice. We use this all the time, but we like to also use them off ice, because again, it just works on the dynamic of lifting your stick around a defenseman, and actually giving you some sort of a concept of distance in terms of actually attacking a player. So we hope you found this series helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to email us. Our contact information is on HockeyShare.com. Other than that, we'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.